Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Nierka Nunez. My name is Dr. Gisa Rodriguez Alvarez. And we are residents at Community Health of South Florida, a federally funded health center that provides primary care to underserved communities. As you all know, coronary artery disease is the leading cause of death in the United States, accounting for nearly 600,000 or one fourth deaths in the United States. The risks are even higher in vulnerable populations, including those with multiple social determinants of health associated with CAD. Secondary prevention of CAD is crucial. When choosing what to focus on to reduce coronary revascularization, stroke, subsequently deaths, we looked at several factors recommended in secondary prevention. Weight loss, exercise, diet, smoking cessation, these all proved difficult due to social determinants of health in our community. We then shifted our focus to statins. Statins have revolutionized cardiovascular disease management. They improve endothelial function, reduce vascular inflammation and platelet adhesion and thrombosis, and they provide cholesterol plaque stabilization. The aim of our project, a quality improvement project, will identify, address, and implement strategies to improve statin therapy among patients with CAD. The project design follows a plan do at a study. We selected patients with documented CAD history that were seen at CHI within the last six months. We reviewed and analyzed a total of 49 patients within the period for possible lack of statin therapy initiation or under optimization of recommended intensity if they are already on statin therapy by using their LDL values. Our preliminary results showed that 41% of patients were under treated with LDL not at wall, and 59% were properly treated with LDL at wall, which means patient having an LDL less than 100, optimally less than 70. As you may see on the poster, we discussed several contributing factors, one of them being providers' knowledge of guidelines for secondary prevention of CAD, patient health literacy, and lack of medication affordability. This is why one of the strategies employed involved further education to providers via means of task and ground rounds presentation. Post results showed a decrease from 41% to approximately 35% by only implementing this strategy alone, which met our goal to lower that 41% group as much as possible. Other strategies we are planning on carrying out at CHI will include providing our patient population with educational material, which will be taking into consideration their health literacy, providing information to the patients about medication affordability, which we do through our medication assistance program. And this is a significant thing because for every sustained two milligram per deciliter reduction in LDL, statin therapy has been shown to reduce major coronary events, coronary revascularization and stroke by 1%. For instance, if we achieve a 40 milligram over deciliter reduction, that would account to a 20% reduction of CAD complications. Furthermore, giving our underserved community here at CHI a fighting chance against CAD. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much.